evening, you guys, and welcome back. So tonight I am making a dish that has been in my family for uh, as long as I can remember, and I have made it for my mom, and now I make it for my family, and so we are having porky beans. I will make a sweet cornbread with it, and Lex will be helping with that. So the first thing is, is my mom always had me soak them overnight. I do, I do to do that. <laughs> I don't do that. So what I do is I'm going to boil them with a bunch of water, which you will need to keep an eye on this because it will soak up that water and then you will have sticking or burning. That one I have done. So we are going to boil a bunch of pinto beans and I do not add anything in this process. I don't add salt right now. I just let them boil water, nothing else. So they have been on at 425 and this is what they look like after a couple of hours and now I'm going to start adding all of the ingredients. It is a fairly simple dish. It's cumin, garlic, onion. I did add a little bit of chicken bouillon. I couldn't remember all of a sudden. Linguisa. Thank you. 
and there's not much to it. I'm trying to think. I don't know why, like, looking back at it right now, I can't think of what I put in them. But in that moment, I can knock this dish out like it's nothing. ground beef anyway so you just kind of do it for me it's by smell it's by taste you will know once you kind of do this multiple times and so this meat is just an 80 20 Lex made it the night before and I had her put away half of the meat we had the other half with dinner that night and so we're just gonna mix it in let everything rehydrate and because I have never used fresh onions for this I have always used dehydrated and that is exactly what I did for this time also and the garlic and I also added some paprika for some nice smoky flavor and ketchup and tomato paste see isn't it funny how you have to look back to remember but in that moment you can knock out a dish no problem So here's what it looks like. You will end up adding some brown sugar to the recipe. It isn't a lot. So for right now, I am going to cook the linguisa because it gives off so much grease that you don't want that in these beans. Hence, even down to the ground beef, we ended up um, draining it really well. And you can see Lex in the upper corner, she is making the cornbread, which is another one that my mom has always made. It is two boxes of Jiffy, except for I make my own Jiffy, and one box of yellow cake mix. You make both of those per instructions on the box, and then you just bake it until they're done. And it makes a light, fluffy cornbread.
like to get a little char on the linguisa. I'm going to take taste the beans probably a million times to make sure they are where they need to be. Scrape up some of that goodness, but I am going to end up putting this on a towel because you really don't want all of that grease. right there why we drain it. Lex is going to try to steal a piece because this is one of my kids favorite part of it. My husband's favorite part. They can never get enough linguisa. Anyway so we're gonna finish up everything and then we're gonna have dinner. Thank you guys for joining us again and I will see you guys tomorrow and I'm sending you all of my love. Good night.